Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Big League Sports Guys here. Hope you guys are doing great. Uh, hope you're staying safe and healthy and uh, doing all that kind of good stuff. So today we got a uh, PSA prep video. Um, it's uh, <laughs> interesting times for grading, right? So all kinds of announcements. Uh, obviously, PSA has moved to their ultra modern, so there's a, a premium for those cards that are 2017 and above. Um, and then uh, SGC just announced that uh, they're kind of doing away with the 50 day, which never was a a, a 50 day. Uh, Oh, was it 20 day? Yeah, it turned out to be more like a 50 day. Anyway, um, so I, good and bad. I guess the good news is for, for us here is that um, it actually made it a little easier um, for me to uh, put together set uh, submissions because it's so often there's, you know, probably for every 100 I submit, there's probably 20 that get left out that are worth submitting. But for whatever reason, uh, one player is hotter, uh, the demand may be higher for another particular card or whatever. Just things in the market are so, you know, uh, liquid that you know things 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 change so um what this has done is basically you know for this next couple of submissions obviously anything that's you know uh, pre-2017 is going to go to psa and everything post-2017 is going to go to uh, our post-2016 i guess i should say will go off to sgc um which kind of allows two different slots so uh the uh quote ultra modern versus modern aren't battling each other <laughs> But anyway, uh, we'll start. Uh, we'll start with this one. Um, we're going to go with basketball. Um, so, um, eighty-nine hoops. Uh, Carl Malone. I think I figured out uh, what needs to be looked at for this set. So this is a bit of a test for this one. Uh, had some of these actually go out in the eighties. Um, back to the eighties video or whatever it was the uh, monthly special. Um, actually, I'm going to move the slide a little bit here because it's got a little bit of glare. Hang on, quick. Yeah, it gets a. I think that's a little better. Um, not so much direct light. There we go. Uh, so there's the Carl Malone uh, 89, uh, 1990 um, Skybox uh, Admiral. And we got uh, Pippin. And uh, these are uh, pack pulled here uh, on the show, all gold border. Um, the back is white, so that uh, makes it a little bit easier. Um, Mailman again. And then we've got uh, his Airness, which that's a great looking card. Uh, I know it's kind of, when you look at it, I mean, it's pretty weak, the colored background, but uh, and actually I don't think it looks too bad, uh, especially with that, with uh, Jordan going to the hole there. Um, <clears throat> 90, 89, 90? No, 90, 91. Hang on. 90, yeah. So uh, there's the uh, Jordan card. This one is a tad, uh, OC left to right. I'm for a nine on this one uh, from PSA. Um, that would be great. And then on this one, this one's a little bit uh, more OC. Um right? You can see it's a lot, much thicker. Um, so, um, you know, by the book, everything else is, checks out, should be a nine, but an eight five wouldn't be awful. Um, but anything below that, I'd be like, man, come on. Uh, so we are with that, those, those two Jordans. Then moving on to, uh, 91 for the basketball, uh, tough set. Um, you got to look at this red line here. That's, that's the key, right? So that's quote the border. Um, obviously this one too, uh, the blue one, but not as much as this red one, uh, because I think the red is w w more often way off center than the blue. So if you got a uh, pretty good eye and you can match those up, uh, the corners are tough here on the front. It's kind of got the yellowish gold uh, background too. So there's the McHale. Um, there's the man right there. That's the league leaders card, not the uh, um, actual base card. Um, they're going into 93 upper deck. 93, 92. Um, hear that. Man, it's bad when you can't even read the model focus on. Hang on. I need... Man, it's not focusing very well at all. Uh, I hope it comes out better on the, uh, there we go. On the, uh, video than what I'm seeing here. Uh, we can look at it here and be a little bit easier. No, they don't have the date on this one. That's hilarious. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> here we are. Uh, there's a the Jordan S, the all-star card. Um, then they have the really nice artwork in the set, and um, it's one of those things that probably people overlooked it um, when the set came out new. And like, okay, the art card, whatever, use it as like a divider or something. But these are pretty darn nice. Uh, likenesses are pretty good versus some of the stuff you see, <laughs> where you're like, man, who, uh, who who put this together? Who drew this? Um, and then these Jordans are really, really good. Look at that. I don't know what the cat's doing in there. I don't know one of those. But we do have, um, here's the base. <clears throat> and then this, have that same set. This thing is sick, man. Uh, so, hologram. And my lighting is a little bit, there we go. 
Uh, but the depth in this thing, look at that. And you, <laughs> uh, you know, it, 90s product, but, and if you see it in person, it really pops out, man. But I was amazed by the depth and then the color you get once you get to a that certain angle. The red and stuff. Um, pretty nasty. Uh, and this thing is like, I say razor thin. It's so thin. Um, it's like tin foil. Um, and there's a print line that goes down the, about 80% across the card, top to bottom. And it's like that for all of them. So I don't know if it's just the way they were ran. Gosh, there we go. It's a little bit better or what, but um, really interested to see how this grades out, right? Uh, so this is the AW1, which I don't know what AW means. Um, award winner? Did I say award winner here or something? Yeah, scoring champion, so award winner, so people got awards. But anyway, things pretty pretty crazy with that uh, um, hologram there. Uh, so these are cool, interesting store behind these. So these were pack pooled in 1995. Been sitting upstairs in, uh, you know, in a 3200 count box under the Jordan section. Um, I took a look at them, and they were all 8.5 pluses in my opinion. So I said, hey, man, we're going to send these off. So there's the uh, slam dunk insert, which is pretty cool. Uh, Catch-23. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's actually a pretty nice looking card there. Um, collector's Choice Upper Deck. All right. Uh, in 96, got a couple Kobe's here. That's the uh, Bowman's Best, I believe, yeah. And the camera's picking up way too much light this morning. Maybe it's because I don't really do videos in the morning. Uh, and there's the Top's Finest. I gotta take that back. There's a piece of little fuzz in there or something. Uh, underneath the... Uh, yes, that would be a puppy hair. Oh no, it's on the thing. <laughs> Perfect. It's gone. Even better. <laughs> Another one there. All right. Uh, moving on. What do we got here? 2009, I believe. Uh, this is the uh, Upper Deck Star Rookie. Of Blake Griffin. Um, all the uh, 2009 stuff that I sent in to SGC came back at 10. So I was hoping for the same here. And there's the Jordan, the black uniform. So these were the insert set out of that uh, 09 Upper Deck. And you know most insert sets nowadays are pretty lame, but these are these are nice, man. Uh, gold foiled, nice design, right? You know different uh, lines going different. I always talk about this lines going different where you know color fades the bottom, a nice bold black thing, but the gold border or excuse me the gold uh, um, uh, foil in the description. Look at that. That's just it's beautiful. Um, and I could see how that could get chipped or nicked up pretty darn quick. But uh, these went straight into, you know, penny sleeve and into a, a top holder, or top loader, excuse me. So we got uh, that one, this, maybe using the 45. So it's picking out dates, right? It'll give a date down there and give a statistic. But just, I don't know, just think that's, that's, that's the favorite one right there. That's the number six card. Um... Like I said, gold, you know, gold foil lettering and numbering, that's that's awesome. All right, so that's basketball. All right, we'll go on to, um, we'll do uh, baseball next. Get this out of the way there. Um, <clears throat> 86 top traded bonds. Uh, this one's a little uh, top to bottom, a little thick on the bottom. Some minor chipping there, um, but it, you know, angle right does a whole lot. You got one there and all of a sudden it's like, wow. Uh, <laughs> but 8.5. Uh, um, Eight, actually, I took an eight on that, but um, like I said, I think it, uh, I think it's worth grading. I said it's super tough, so I think um, even an eight will, uh, will go pretty decent in in market. So there's that one, uh, eighty nine, um, upper deck is McGuire. Um, this, like I said, um, the Griffey that I did submit was a nine, so that sold a couple years ago. Uh, but um, I, looking at this board, this one's a lot stronger in terms of um, centering. So. We'll see how this one comes out. And like I said, the foil's intact, but I don't know if that really counts. You heard that story. Anyway, McGuire, 89 upper deck. <clears throat> Excuse me, 90. A Bowman, so there's the uh, Sosa rookie. It's got this ink bubble, like factory print type thing going on, right? It's not after the card. These came straight out of the, I think these was a cello pack. Um, and yeah, it was cello packs, I think. And um, right uh, right there, right? So we'll, we'll see. It'll be interesting to see because it, the centering is pretty... Pretty darn solid on that one. Um, yeah, so 
we'll wait and see. Um, here's the uh, Frank Thomas. This one's a little bit uh, off center left to right, just a tad. Um, we'll see if they feel gracious or not. But uh, coloring's great. Uh, no issues on the face of the card. Fantastic. Got a young, big hurt right there. Uh, 91 upper deck. There's the Bagwell rookie. Sent two of these off probably about a year ago. Both came back tens. This is one that was, like I said, that got, kept getting pushed out of the order, out of the order, out of the order. Uh, but now, uh, like I said, uh, Mr. Bagwell's got plenty of room to get in. So there's that one. Uh, this set, I, I never can remember what it's ca called, but it's very hard to find. It's tops, and I only remember the product one year, right? And I think this is, uh, it's 90, I think it's 95. Man, I got all kinds of lighting issues going on. 95, yeah. My setup's definitely built for evening filming. But, uh, there's the matting, it's a silver, there's the gold one. It looks terrible in gold, but this looks really cool, the silver with, obviously, the Yankees, uh, gray and black there. So there's a Donnie baseball. Uh, 95, uh, Fleer, that's just the A-Rod, um, I don't know, I just like the card as an A-Rod, <laughs> uh, I thought it looked pretty strong, especially with all colored card, no border, and then, uh, really nice background too, on the back of this card, that's one thing I do remember about this set, is just kind of full picture, um, on the back, so, um, you get some, uh, like almost another card, right, uh, here we go, what do we got, 11 Goldschmidt, and this one got pushed out of probably 10 orders, um, so, Mr. Goldschmidt finally gets to go in as well. Uh, cool set. Good card stock. This one can scratch pretty easy. That's obviously the black chrome border, but you've got the black um, paper kind of type-ish background, so you got to watch out there for, for touches. Uh, what is this? 2012? Uh, yeah, 2012 uh, Rendon Bowman. So that's the first card. Uh, you got to look at the borders... Carefully on this one, because I, for whatever reason, I overlooked a couple of them, and I got a bunch of nines. Uh, I got I got my handful of tens, but uh, I just had a bunch of these left, so I just went through these very, very particularly, uh, checking out the border. So we got one of those, two of those, and then we got the uh, the chrome. Same exact card, just uh, with the chromium technology. All right, uh, 13 tops. This is the opening day. Uh, so we got uh, the trout. Um, Sliding with the rookie cup there, um, so done done pretty well on these. Um, obviously, it's not a rookie; you're not going to pay that premium, but uh, they grayed out. Uh, very nice uh, action on the secondary market for these these trouts. We got uh, two of those. We got uh, what do we got here? 14 Bowman uh, from Mil Reyes. So the update cards move pretty good. Um, these cards get getting pushed out because the update card was so strong. Uh, this, it was 2018 tops update, but uh, this is the 14. This is his first card, Bowman Chrome, from Mel Reyes, and we got probably we got one, two, three, three of those. Uh, Verdugo, we got a couple of refractors, same year, 2014. Once again, these just kept getting pushed out. Um, we'll see what he does over there in Boston, um, but I think uh, just playing in Boston a little bit more exposure, maybe his hobby picks up, but uh, especially if he hits, obviously, right? But there's the Verdugo, a couple of those. Refractors, uh, 14, um, uh, Heritage, it's, uh, you know, they, they all have these, you know, dual player kind of cards now and with weird sayings, but, uh, this is cool because it got pool, excuse me, pew, I always don't say pew holes, I'm trying to say it right, pew holes and trout, um, considering it looks good on this one, um, Angel's Belter, so we'll see, uh, see what happens. Uh, 15 Bowman, uh, a couple Walker Buehlers. Um, Walker's a heck of a talent. Um, really good pitcher. Really good. Uh, Hobby's been consistently strong and consistently rising. He's not been skyrocketing like a, obviously a Soto or a, a Cooney or anything like that, but uh, uh, Walker Bueller's a very safe bet in terms of, of grading. You'll be fine. Uh, so there's the uh, two of these Bowman Chromes. <clears throat> 16 Bowman Chrome. Uh, we got Lux. We got one, two, three of those. Three of those Gavins. I uh, got a ton of those back in SGC order. Got submitted a, uh, no, everything got moved over here. There's 16, obviously, uh, what I just talked about. Uh, Dubon, uh, there's the uh, base chrome, and then a really, really nasty purple. Um, it's a lot of color, a lot of Richard Factor. Sorry, my, again, the light's not that good, but man, it's got some really, really good shine to it. I just think it's super thick card style. It's bowing the heck out of this uh, card saver, too. I don't know if you can get, probably can't pick it up on camera, but uh, there we go. Cool color. Um, Biggio, Gavin, two of those, 16. And then uh, we got uh, Bobby Dahlbeck. 
a couple of autos, uh, base autos. I've had these, I don't know, for maybe a little over, I don't know, about six, seven months. So, Senor Del Deco, get to go in. All right, so that's baseball, and we'll wind it out here with football. That's actually the biggest biggest group of cards. Um, it was going pretty decent back. So there's the, uh, the 92, right? Or 90, 1990, Brett Favre, the actual rookie in the in a uh, in the uh, 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 Falcons Uni. Uh, so there he is, Mr. Favre. Um, that one's been pushed out forever. Uh, actually, I just came. I just went upstairs and looked at, at a couple of different boxes and. I found this Derek Brooks, a star rookie, uh, 95 or 96, 95, star rookie, Derek Brooks. Uh, same thing with this one, just pulled it out of the box, that's the Keyshawn Johnson, uh, draft picks, stadium club, got that kind of foil on the side there, pretty cool looking card though, um, same thing with this one, actually the next couple two or three um these were upstairs just in uh fix this one here it's way quicker it kind of bugs me there a couple of these are uh in the box right in boxes um by set this thing's got some it's a foil car but nasty nasty shine to it and it's got these gold lines here uh which are pretty tough this is the upper deck encore uh 2001 i want to say off the top of my brain 99 i'm way off um <clears throat> so second year that's cool uh, Edge Rookie, it's a stadium club, or Skybox Stadium Club, I believe, what they call it back then, Skybox Premier, and I think this is the green because I think the other one is kind of a base silver type front, I gotta double check that, it's an Edge, kind of looking like he's about to, you know, take somebody out, uh, Edge, and then a couple of uh, the Goat Rookies, Aurora, I always forget what this is called. Aurora. It's not the coolest looking card, but uh, this one's pretty strong. Really strong, actually. The front looks great. Steering looks outstanding. So uh, that could turn out to be a pretty, pretty decent, uh, decent hit there. And this is this is crazy. This is the Crown Royal. Uh, brutal tough set that, that, to keep in good shape for a long time. Um, this one's got a touch of a corner. I think it's that one. No. One of them is a little, little rounded, but we'll see. Um, this could come out of nine, um, which would be very nice. Super tough set, right? And the Senior Bowl, uh, Senior Bowl jersey, obviously the Wolverines helmet. Brady, um, <clears throat> there's a Vic rookie. Once again, he just kept getting pushed, 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 pushed. Um, it's the uh, 005, right? 04. Oh, no, I'm off again. 1001. Jumping the gun. Uh, this cool, this card is, I love this cool. So, Tops Premium. This is the Drew Brees Refractor. And once again, this this card is super thick. It's bowing the heck out of this uh, uh, card here. But this shine is not uh, like I said. My light is kind of jacked up here today, but it's it's awesome, especially on the helmet. Like I said, you get it the right way, man. Those the helmet literally looks like it's throwing lightning bolts off there. So that's pretty cool. And this one's number two. What number two? Three forty nine. All right, uh, some Brady's. These aren't rookies, but. Uh, this is actually, this is a cool card because this is a 2003. So a pretty early Brady. Uh, that's the Gridiron Kings um, artwork. Um, you know, this is, like I said, I think it's, uh, this would be really nice for a Tom Brady collector if this thing grades out. And uh, looking for it, right? Um, we got some 04s, actually a lot of 04 of uh, Rivers. So Upper Deck. It's the Rookie Limited. This is the base Upper Deck. And uh, I love this set here. This is the Lucky 13. This is the gold. Um, everything looks great, except for those two little... There we go. See that little, two little touches of white uh, right there? And it's weird. Like One is obviously the corner, and I don't know how the other one got there. But either way, um, we'll take you know we'll take something like 8.5 uh, on this one. But Lucky 13, gold, Philip Rivers. Thing's awesome. Gold medallion, excuse me. <clears throat> Bowman uh, Rivers. That's the base one. And this is pretty crazy. So this is the gold uncirculated. Popped it out of there. Because uh, you don't... Those old type mag... But not really mags. are like pop-ins. Uh, you know, with a secure seal on it. Pop that. Because you can't really see the card that well. Popped it out of there. And I was like, whoa, this thing looks really, really strong. I mean, obviously it's uncirculated. It should be. But you really couldn't see the borders that good. So uh, that's the gold. Bowman. Um, 05 Fritzy. Uh, flagship. 
car looks good. Um, then I got a couple, uh, we'll close it out with Brady. Oh, no, I won't close it out. We got a whole other stack here. Uh, Brady, this is the, uh, 2005. Uh, tops total. Foil, uh, front. Tough set. Black corners. I'm just asking for it, right? But hey, that's what makes it fun. This is a pretty cool looking car, too. It's like all <laughs> foil with a gold label on it. It's a certified. Uh, this card's got some thickness to it as well. Uh, this is uh, 2005. Yeah. Another 05. And then this is the score. <clears throat> 05 score. In the Pro Bowl Uni. Um, last pack of football. So, uh, 05. Um, tops. This is the All Pro set. Looks good there. So, there's Breeze. Um, it's a great looking one of Brady. Um, with the get up on, the gold foil, and the lettering. Tops 50th. There's the uh, postseason highlights of Brady. I actually just sold one of these. Uh, went pretty well in the store. And then here's the base of Brady, 2005. Uh, there's a Frank Gore rookie. And then um, this dude here, Mr. Raj's uh, flagship. All right. Um, you know, people have their favorite sets, and man, this is just a cool car, but... Um, this wasn't a set that I collected back in the day or, or really purchased and I just kind of come across a couple cars and I've had this one upstairs for a while now, but this thing is sick, man. Look at the shine on this thing. I mean, my, my lighting is poor, uh, but these compared to the other refractors, especially modern day, it just kills it. Black, blue, refractors going on all over the place. So this is what I think is a third year edge. Um, it's 2004 or 2005 is the product, right? Yeah. Bowman Chrome refractor. Look at that. And this is uh, number to 250. I think it's just filth, man. Filth, filth. And it looks really good, too. Um, six Bowman Chrome. Brady. I'll play off Contenders. That's a season ticket. Uh, 06. And I got 07. Megatron Rookie. Interesting card. Uh, a studio rookie uh, from Rookies and Stars. He <laughs> just. Boom, that's me. <laughs> and kind of a plain back, too. Uh, but car looks really clean. Uh, threads. Uh, this is SP Threads. Um, cool looking car. And once again, I just, you know, the use of gold foil, just, I don't know. It uh, it gets me. I like it. Oh, here's this one. 2009 SP Threads. Uh, Cam Newton rookie. So, we'll see, right? I mean, in six months, he'll either be the guy that... Uh, you know, helped, uh, you know, keep the tradition of New England in store, or he was the uh, the goat in the bad way, right? Um, it's kind of funny. There's the goat in the good way, the goat in the bad way. Um, so that's the, the silver, I think, is number to what? 930. So <laughs> not like it's a small print run, the number to 930, but uh, it is uh, a little bit more rare than, I guess, in the base. But this card has actually got some uh, some nice thickness to it, too. So there's a, there's a cam. Uh, 2011 Gridiron Kings uh, Brady. Not the greatest set, but... Everything looks good on here, so if she comes back at 10, she'll move. Um, airmail insert uh, from Score. Once again, not, uh, nothing super exciting, right? Kind of a uh, insert there from uh, Score back in the day, but it's a 13 Brady. Uh, we got here, what, a 14 um, Garoppolo, Jimmy G. Prism. Uh, 2005 pet tops, just base tops, Super Bowl champ Brady. Uh, 17, Donruss, uh, Legends of the Fall, Brady, looking pretty, pretty, pretty darn intense there. Uh, 16, Donruss, uh, there's a Michael Thomas rookie, you look at those footballs, make sure you're seeing a little bit on each side of that last football, this one looks really good. And then, uh, Optics, 17, or, uh, 16, excuse me, there's a Tyreek Hill, there's the base one, he said he's a bit of a meatball, actually not a bit, he is a meatball, but that's what, uh, the meatballs are easy for me. It's like you get it, it comes back good, you sell it. Like nothing, no even thought, no PC of consideration or whatever. And there's the refractor. There's a shine on it. Um, Jalen Smith from the Dallas Cowboys. Terrible year last year. Um, walk it to him, Wentz. Derek the Big Man Henry. And closing it out with Senor Elliott. We'll see if uh, he can make uh, his money this year, which he, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, guys, that is it. So uh, I think we're at 102 cards, something like that. Or maybe right at 100. Um, good mix of uh, basketball, basketball, and football. 
let me know what you think. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. We got some pretty cool stuff that comes out uh, every week. Uh, it may be a busy week this weekend. Probably gonna break some interesting product here in a little bit and put it on there. Oh, we got an SGC order prepped. Also, we'll probably do the SGC video either late tonight or tomorrow. Uh, so we got two orders, bulk orders, be going out Monday morning. That's it, guys. Uh, respect the hobby. Have a good weekend, and talk to you later. Thanks.